So an assessment we can use to see if your glutes are firing appropriately or if you're just kind of using your back is doing a standing, what we call standing hip extension. So Gord, what I want you to do here is I want you to balance on this left leg and bring this, this right leg behind you. Good. And back forward again. Do that one more time. So as you can see, a lot of lumbar spine and low back compensation here, which means you're not really using your glute that much. You're actually using your hamstring and your low back to do this motion. <coughs> So another assessment we can use for testing some glute strength is that specifically for glute need is called side lying hip abduction. So what we're gonna get you to do, Gord, is straighten your leg out to the side here. Yep, bring your leg up this way. And what we're gonna do is now you're gonna hold your leg here. I'm gonna try to push you down. You go ahead. Push as hard as you can, Gord, go, go, go. Okay, <laughs> let's try again. Push, 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 push. Okay, so again, if, if Gord had grade five or super strong glutes here, he wouldn't, uh, his leg would be strong and I wouldn't be able to push him down. So this is really common what we see in piriformis syndrome is when people have their piriformis is quite tight, likely, again, their other external glute muscles are just weak. So we'll work on that in clinic. What? Fun. What? Fun. What? Fun. What?